it's Madison, and today I'm in Greece. Today we're going to explore Meteora. It's a fascinating place, unlike anything else I've ever seen. These towering cliffs used to be at the bottom of the sea floor. I love collecting rocks, so Meteora is a dream to visit. Some of the rock formations here are over a thousand feet tall. Can you guess what's on top of these cliffs? Monasteries with monks and nuns and everything. Millions of years ago, there were probably two rivers here. This was the delta where the rivers met. Over time, the rivers built up sediment and created these huge rocks. Meteora was one of the world's top showpieces. It was an art piece. At one point, the Teutonic plates decided to do a little dance. The earth shifted and the rocks got pushed straight up right from the bottom of the ocean floor. The water was receded and the rocks were left in this unusual place. It's in the middle of mainland Greece. In Greek mythology, the rocks were left over Ambo from a Greek battle. The Titans and the Olympian gods were in battle. These giants with a hundred hands lifted the rocks and threw them to the Titans. Where they landed became Mandiora. But let's talk about those monasteries. Back in the ninth century, there were monks feeling adventurous. They decided to settle in the caves of these rocks. They were seeking isolation so they could feel closer to God. The word meteora means suspended in air. A few centuries later, different monks looked at the rocks and said, hey, let's build up there. But there was a big problem. How did they get up there? They were smart and used ladders, nets, and a whole lot of creative thinking. Soon, there were 24 monasteries on different cliffs. Were they competing for who could get highest in the clouds? Things got a little rocky in the 19th century. World War II happened and all of Europe was under threat. The monks hid Jews and precious artifacts in the monasteries. But wouldn't you know it, the Nazis came knocking. Somehow, the monasteries survived the war. Today, there are seven monasteries that you can visit. It's a long walk up all those steps. But the views are so worth it. The monks and nuns are very kind and welcoming. These dudes are really laid on the edge, if you know what I mean. Those monasteries seem to defy gravity. How did they build these masterpieces on top of cliffs? These monasteries show unbelievable human determination. I love Meteora. I've been to over 40 countries and this is one of my favorite places. Thanks for joining me today in Greece.